Good morning. I am Dr. A. Ahmed Basha, Professor of Physiology, Chetinad Hospital and Research Institute. Today, I will be speaking about ECG lead system. ECG, an electrocardiogram, is a record of cardiac electrical activity. And this electrical activity is recorded and the procedure of recording is electrocardiography. It is a non-invasive procedure. This electrical activity is detected by placing an electrode over the body surface and that electrode picks up the electrical potential and it is transferred to the ECG machine electrocardiograph. ECG machine records the electrical activity in a moving paper. Electrodes. Electrode is a conductor material which conducts electrical potential over the body surface. So, whenever an electrode is placed over the body surface, it conducts cardiac electrical potential and then it transmits to the ECG machine. Lead. A lead is two or more electrode which connected to the one end is connected to the body surface and the other end is connected to the ECG machine. So, if there are two leads, the potential difference between those two leads are picked up from the body surface and it is conducted to the ECG machine. In turn, ECG machine records the electrical activity in a moving paper. William Einthoven, inventor of practical electrocardiogram. He invented the practical electrocardiogram and he was awarded a Nobel Prize in the year 1924 for his discovery of the mechanism of electrocardiogram. So, what are the basis of ECG leads? Heart generate its own electrical potential. That electrical potential is picked up by the electrodes. We are placing the electrodes over the body surface. So, whatever the electrical potential is generated from the heart, it is viewed by the electrodes in a three dimensional manner. That means, if two electrodes are placed, the potential travels towards one direction. If the depolarization that is a spread of depolarization if it is towards a positive end then we get a positive wave. If the spread of depolarization is towards a negative pole then we get a negative wave in the ECG. If the spread of depolarization wave perpendicular to the lead then we get a biphasic deflection. So, depending upon the conduction of impulse towards positive or negative, the waves of ECG either a positive wave or a negative wave or a biphasic wave. So, standard lead system. In the standard lead system are called as 12 lead system. It is classified into two categories. One, limb leads. Other one is chest leads. Limb leads indicates leads placed over the limbs. Chest leads are the leads placed over the precordial surface that is on the chest area over the chest area. The limb leads again classified into bipolar limb leads and unipolar limb leads. We can see one by one what is bipolar and what is unipolar in the subsequent slides. Unipolar chest leads are placed over the precordial surface. So, these are the limb leads. These are the areas to place the chest leads, precordial area to place the chest leads. So, bipolar limb leads. Bipolar limb leads are indicated as L1, L2 
and L3. Electrodes that form these signals are located on the limbs. Unipolar limb leads. In unipolar limb leads, the electrodes are same as L1, L2 and L3, but here the electrodes that is two end, two terminals are connected to a common end with a resistance closer to 0 and the other terminal is connected to the positive pole. So, that is about the unipolar limb leads. So, unipolar limb leads are indicated as AVR, AVL and AVF. A stands for augmented. Unipolar chest leads. These leads as I mentioned earlier are placed over the precordial surface. They are indicated as V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5 and V6. So, the it is indicated from V1 to V6. Here, the Wilson central terminal is used as a negative pole. Next, we move on to the Einthoven's law. As I mentioned earlier, Einthoven is the father of practical electrocardiogram. He constructed an imaginary triangle and assumed that heart is at the center of the triangle. So, he placed heart as the center of the triangle and all the three ends of the triangle he connected the limb leads. If an ECG taken simultaneously with the three limb leads at any given instant, the potential of one lead is equal to the arithmetic sum of the potential of other two leads. In general, we used to say as lead 2 equal to lead 1 plus lead 3. So, lead 2 is equal to the potential difference of lead 1 and potential difference of lead 3. This is called as Einthoven's law. L2 equal to L1 plus L3. So, bipolar limb leads. In bipolar limb leads, as I mentioned earlier, it is indicated as L1, L2 and L3. Now, we can see what is L1, from where to where it is connected and what is the potential difference. L1 lead is connected between left arm to the right arm and L1 lead view the heart from the superior aspect. Next, L2 that is lead 2 is connected between right arm and the left leg. This lead view the heart from the right side that is it view right side aspect of the heart. Next, lead 3. Lead 3 is connected between left arm and left leg. It views the left side of the heart, that is left aspect of the heart. So, these three leads view the heart from the three views, one from lead 1 superior aspect, lead 2 right aspect and lead 3 left aspect. Here, one more lead is there that is right leg. In the ECG, right leg lead serve as an earth for the reference electrode. As can act as a reference electrode. Next, we move on to the unipolar limb leads. In unipolar limb lead, one terminal is connected to the positive, that is one limb is connected to the positive and the other two limbs are connected through a high resistance making the potential close to 0. So, what is the use of this? It increases the voltage recorded. It increases about 50 percentage of the voltage recorded when compared to L1, L2 and L3. So, AVR. AVR here, the positive limb is right arm. The AVL, the positive terminal is left arm. In AVF, the positive terminal is left leg. 
So, here AVR, AVL and AVF are this recorded from this same electrode as L1, L2 and L3, but the difference is it is these waves are augmented waves when compared to the L1, L2 and L3. So, they are called as unipolar limb leads. Here also the right leg serve as a earth, earthing purpose. It act as a reference electrode. Next, we move on to the unipolar chest leads. Unipolar chest leads name indicate these leads are placed over the precordial surface. It is indicated as V1 to V6. V1. V1 is placed at the level of fourth intercostal space nearer to the sternum. V1 right fourth intercostal space nearer to the sternum. V2 exact opposite to the V1 but on the left hand side. So, the location for V2 is left fourth intercostal space nearer to the sternum. Next, we move on to the V4. We can see V3 later. V4 is placed at the fifth intercostal space left hand side at the level of mid clavicular line. Mid clavicular line is an imaginary line that falls from the center of the clavicle downwards towards thorax. So, V4 is placed at left fifth intercostal space at the level of mid clavicular line. Now, V3. V3 has to be placed just center in between V2 and V4. So, V3 is placed between V2 and V4. Next, we move on to the V5. V5 is also placed at the same plane as V4, but at the level of anterior axillary line. Anterior axillary line is also an imaginary line in the front of the axilla. So, same plane at the as V4, but little lateral at the level of anterior axillary line is V5. Next lead is V6. V6 is also in the same plane V4 and V5, but at the level of mid axillary line. Okay, Mid axillary line. So, the summary of the leads are L1 from left arm to the right arm that is the potential difference between left arm to the right arm, L2 from the right arm to the left leg, L3 from the left arm to the left leg. So, the potential difference of between these two leads are recorded as L1, L2 and L3. The next unipolar limb leads are AVR for right arm, AVL for left arm, AVF for left foot. The precordial leads are V1 to V6. So, these are the 12 lead system in a standard ECG. We can ask why these 12 leads are being used, what is the importance? These 12 leads viewing the heart at a different angle. Till now, we saw about various lead system that is various leads, 12 leads, what are the names of the 12 leads and where it has to be placed. Now, we can get a question why there are 12 leads, what is its importance? The importance of 12 ECG leads are, it records the electrical activity of the heart from different angle and therefore, they align with the different anatomical areas of the heart. For example, any two leads which view a particular area or particular wall, for example, if any two leads view the anatomical wall, then they are said to be contiguous. In the 12 lead system, there are groups of leads which view the same wall of the heart, they are said to be contiguous. Example, septal leads. Septal leads, in septal leads, 
v1 and v2 are said to be contiguous. If any two leads view anterior wall, then they are called as anterior leads. Example in the 12 lead system, v3 and v4 are said to be anterior leads. Similarly, lead 2, lead 3 and AVF as inferior leads, lead 1, AVL, V5 and V6 are lateral leads. So, all the leads view the heart from a different angle, it gives a graphical representation through ECG machine. Till now, we saw 12 lead system in ECG and their placement and their importance. Now, we move on to the additional lead placement. There are several additional lead placement techniques, but here I am going to say only a few important additional lead placement. That is, the same electrodes are being placed in a different areas of the precordial surface and we are going to learn one by one. So, right sided ECG electrode placement is one of the additional lead placement. Here, a complete set of right sided lead is obtained by placing V1 to V6 in a mirror image position on the right side of the chest. So, which is the same precordial recording, but it is opposite to the standard ECG precordial recording. So, what is the importance? It is more important, especially in the case of diagnosis of right ventricular myocardial infarction, where the amplitude of ST elevation is higher when compared to the normal precordial chest leads. Next additional lead is V4 or ECG lead placement. Here, use of right sided precordial lead V4 or is alone kept on the opposite side when compared to the normal precordial ECG recording. V4 is kept exactly opposite at right side. It is helpful for the diagnosis of right ventricular involvement in inferior myocardial infarction. Next additional lead is posterior leads. In posterior leads, they are indicated as V7, V8 and V9. V7 is placed at the same level of V6, but at the level of posterior axillary line. Next, V8. V8 is placed in the same level of V6 in the left hand side, but at the tip of scapula. Next lead is V9, which is placed at the level of V6 on the left side, but nearer the paraspinal region. That is, left paraspinal region in the same horizontal plane as V6. So, what are the importance of these posterior leads? The degree of ST elevation seen in V7 to V9 is required to make the diagnosis of posterior myocardial infarction. Next additional lead placement is Levis lead. This lead is useful in detecting the atrial activity and its relationship to the ventricle activity. The electrodes for Levis lead are the same limb lead electrode, but the electrode placement Example, right arm limb lead electrode placed over the manubrium, left arm limb lead electrode placed over the right fifth intercostal space, left leg electrode placed over the right lower costal margin. The recording of Levis lead read in the lead one of the ECG. It is important especially in during the atrial flutter waves that is for the diagnosis of atrial flutter, this Lewis lead is highly beneficial. Another 
additional lead system is three electrode system. Here in the three electrode system, three limb electrodes, right arm, left arm and left leg are used and the monitor displays the bipolar leads that is lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3. The next additional lead system is phi electrode system. As the name indicates phi, here it uses phi electrodes, right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg and any one chest electrode depending upon the requirement. So, these are the additional lead system. The other additional leads are esophageal lead. In esophageal lead, a lead inserted into the esophagus approximately 35 centimeter from the external nostrils. This ECG lead is beneficial especially in the diagnosis of atrial flutter and Wolf Parkinson syndrome. Next is intracardiac electrocardiogram. Here ECG along with the standard ECG electrodes, some added electrodes are placed inside the heart. That is 2 to 4 intracardiac electrodes are added via cardiac catheterization. A record of changes in the electrical potential of specific cardiac loci is done with the help of intracardiac electrocardiogram. This slide shows lead to ECG that is in a recording of 12 lead ECG system, if I take a lead to recording alone, it will represent a graphical representation like this. If you see the graphical representation of a lead to ECG, I can see some waves, some downward deflection positive waves, some negative waves. The waves are labeled as P wave, Q wave, R, S, T and U. Generally, this QRS is called as QRS complex. So, any ECG recorded from a 12 lead ECG system, it contains P wave, QRS complex, T wave and U wave. But in some cases, U wave may not be visible, but still U wave has to be considered. So, with this, I am concluding this module. We learnt about what are the ECG lead system, uh, but this presentation is to be used as an adjunct to other learning methodology and not a substitute for a appropriate clinical training and qualification. I would like to thank my institute, Chetinad Hospital and Research Institute and Swayam Neptel for giving me an opportunity to present this session. The sources of references are Guyton and Genong. Thank you.